Hey, it's Christine, artist in residence at Bay Ridge and Aiello. I'm going to show you a quick little activity that you can do today or really any time that you're ready. It is a spring celebration chart. See, I have a piece of paper. It's folded into four parts. And in each part of the chart, I have a different holiday or landmark of spring. I chose Easter, which we just finished celebrating, Passover, which we're almost done celebrating, Ramadan, which we're going to celebrate at the end of April, and then spring, which is for everybody regardless of religion or culture. So you can see that I drew something to represent each one of these uh, landmarks. I have a bunny for Easter. I have a frog for Passover, a crescent moon and star for Ramadan, and azalea flowers for spring. You can make your own springtime celebration chart and you can choose to put whatever you want in each part of the chart. All you need is a piece of paper and you're gonna take that piece of paper and fold it into four parts. And then from there, you are just going to take a pen, a pencil, a marker, a crayon, whatever it is that you want to draw with, and then draw what you choose to celebrate in each one of these parts of the chart. So you might choose holidays, or you might choose other things that you like about spring, want to observe about spring, Maybe you want to choose flowers or animals or different kinds of weather. You could choose daffodils. You could choose baby lambs, baby sheep. You could choose uh, showers, rain showers. There's a lot of rain in springtime. You could choose sunshine. There's plenty of sunshine in springtime. It's really whatever you want to celebrate spring. And then when you're all done drawing, if you want, you can take a pair of scissors and then cut around the edges and add a little design, some kind of frill. That's what I did for mine. You can see I have these little rounded edges, these rounded edges all around the paper. Ta-da! And then when your chart is done, you can put it wherever you want, on your desk, you could hang it on the fridge. That's where I actually keep this one. You could uh, put it in a book, keep it nice and flat in there, or put it in a folder or a binder, keep it nice and flat in there to protect it. You could hang it on your wall. You could tape it, just put a little bit of tape on the back, tape it to the wall. Or if you want, you could frame it, mat and frame it, and put it up and celebrate spring that way. All right, I also have this design as a coloring sheet and it's in the Dropbox link that's in the caption below this video. Talk to you soon with more little art activities. Take care.